Astralis has launched some very exciting new products, starting off with the Dewy and Daring Cream range. This consists of two highlighters, two bronzers, and four blushes. They're described to be creamy, luminous, and give a youthful, healthy complexion. And then we've got two new multi-dimensional eyeshadow palettes. The first one is called Dream of Me and the second, Hazy Days. These products are launching online and into Priceline on November 14. So I'm not quite sure of the prices yet, but knowing Astralis, they're going to be pretty affordable. So here we have the first highlighter in the shade It Girl and the second highlighter in Bombshell. This is the first bronzer in Summer Fling and the second bronzer in Ride or Die. You can see a huge difference here in the undertones. This is a shade that will definitely work for me. This one is far too warm for my fair skin. And then for the blushes, we've got Girl Next Door, Side Chick, First Love, and Main Character. Quick little bump date while we're here too. 17 weeks. So as I said for bronzer, I'm definitely going to go in with Summer Fling. For blush, I don't know, this is a tough one. I'm really liking Girl Next Door. And I think this deep shade main character could work really nicely for my skin tone as well. When I swatched the bronzer, it felt very rich and creamy. I think it's going to blend out well. Now when I'm applying stick products like this, I don't like to put them directly on my face because I feel like once I start blending, it moves the foundation underneath around too much. So instead I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just tap a little bit off the top there and then I will tap, tap, tap onto my face. Okay, so far that's applying nicely. It's not too heavy and it's blending out well. I'm going to go in with a little bit more here. I think this shade is working really well for my fair skin and it's not drying down completely matte. The bronzer still has a little bit of a, of a sheen to it. I'm hoping you can see that when I move my face. By the way, I've applied foundation and concealer, but no powder. For blush, I'm going to go in with Girl Next Door and I'm going to apply it exactly the same way, but instead I'll be using this Real Techniques sculpting brush. So it's very similar that it's nice and dense, but it is on more of an angle. When I was swatching these ones, it wasn't as opaque as the bronzers, but it still had a very creamy feel that again, I think is going to blend out really well. Okay, these are seriously blending out so easily. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. It's got such a nice sheen to it. It's definitely a little bit more sheer than the bronzer, but it's building up nicely too. It's not giving an overly dewy, like super wet look, but just a beautiful, like glossy sheen. Like my skin has a natural glow to it, which I love. That blush was absolutely stunning. I kind of want to go in with a little bit of main character as well, the more deeper shade. This shade of blush can be a little bit scary when you're as fair as me, but judging by this formula, it's going to blend out and be quite sheer. So let me just tap a little bit of that on. Yeah, you can definitely see that's just added a bit more vibrance to the blush color compared to this side. Now, I really don't think you need a highlighter with these blushes because I am getting a very beautiful glow, but of course I want to test it out. So let's go in with the shade It Girl. To apply the highlighter, I'm going to use the bum of my sponge. It is clean. It's just stained and lightly tap that on. Looking at the highlighter formula, it does appear to have some shimmer in it, but it's not showing up like extremely metallic on the face, which is nice. I don't really want that. I just want to add to that beautiful sheen that the blush is giving. So you can see on this side where I've got the highlighter applied. All right, well, this is the finished look of the cheeks. I am so in love. Those blushes just... Wow. Now I have been in love with the Astralis eyeshadow palettes for so long now. They are seriously some of the best 
eyeshadows available at Priceline. Super smooth, creamy, blendable, pigmented. I freaking love them. So I have high expectations for these palettes. Each palette comes with 12 shades, a mix of mattes, shimmers, and duochromes. I think I'm going to go in with the Hazy Days. This green is just speaking to me. Look at it. And then these beautiful iridescent shades around it, like... Oh my God, they are so pretty. I think I'm going to go in with like this orange and deeper reddish brown. And then maybe a bit of green on the, the lid, like the center. I don't know. Let's just see what happens, hey? <laughs> Okay, so far so good. Same beautiful Astralis formula that I expected. Blending beautifully, the color is pigmented. It looks great. Okay, so I also just went in with this deeper shade and again, it blended beautifully. Now I want to go in with this green. Will green blend into this? I don't know, but I'm going to try it and see. All right, it's giving me mad Christmas vibes, but what I want to do is put this iridescent shade over the top of the green. Surely this will all come together in the end, right? It's about trusting the process. Because this iridescent shade, right, it kind of, it has that green and the red in it. I just, anyway. All right, so eyes are done. I actually really like how that turned out. The iridescent shade on top just looks beautiful and really blended them together. All right, I went ahead and finished my makeup for lipstick. I'm wearing one of my all time favorites from Astralis. This is the Girl Boss Velvet Lip Cream in Empower. Now, as for the products, the eyeshadow palette was absolutely beautiful. Everything blended so easily. I was a little worried about the red and green going together, or like the maroon and green, but I think it turned out really nice. The duochromes have a beautiful shift to them. I am so impressed and they really stood up to the expectations that I already had for the Astralis eyeshadow formula. Now the cream cheek products, I was not expecting this launch from Astralis. So when I opened the box, I was so excited. And again, they did not disappoint. The shade of the bronzer works really well for my fair skin. It is a little more opaque than the blushes, which is quite nice because you don't really want a glossy sheen from a bronzer. So I think they nailed that formula. And then the blush does give you that glossy sheen, which again, I think is just so perfect. The shades are beautiful. I can't wait to dip into the other two. As for the highlighter, it's giving a beautiful glow. It's not too metallic. It just adds to that beautiful sheen of all the products together. I, I love it. I think they killed it with this collection and I can't wait for you guys to try it out and let me know how you feel about the products. All right, well, that is all from me today. If you wanna see more, you can come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I will have that all linked down below. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I am so close to 10K subscribers. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.